friends, and welcome to the reading for Wednesday, February 2nd. Gonna see what messages want to come today. Messages for today, positive messages only. So if you're in Chicago, which probably most of you are, because that's who watches my videos, um, you know that there's a snowstorm outside um, inhibiting movement. I mean, Chicago might as well look like something like this right now. Um, and so what is that perceived loss? The loss of, um, you know, we can't go outside. Um, some people um, have trouble getting to work or some people can't work. So what is the loss for you? And there's something, there's some elemental out of balance restricting movement. So we're going to find out oops, what that is. Magician. Okay, so this is about manifestation. So maybe, you know, that's definitely been the power, the the special power of the new moon this time round. We have the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, the Moon, the Queen of Cups, the Chariot. I see the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So if there's anything of a perceived loss, it's indicated by the Seven of Swords, as in that, that kind of self-deception that says when we feel lost, but maybe there isn't, it's not existing. That is a form of self-deception. Like we're trying to understand why our brains are wired maybe for this lack mentality um, because that would be exactly what stops the magician from having the power to manifest, or like feeling out of power. Let's just read the lost card real quick. Yeah, often represented by the loss of teeth or something personally important to the querent. The card, as well as the surrounding cards, indicate that the loss is physical, emotional, or spiritual. It can also symbolize treachery or decay, real or imagined. What has been lost or what is in danger of being lost in your life? And what effect will this loss have? So, there's two things going on, right? The loss of something physical, spiritual mental or otherwise, and also the elements are out of balance, earth, air, water, fire, and then there's this stagnation. So there's actually quite a lot going on that's preventing us from moving forward at this time. Um, it could be that you feel that you don't have enough to, like, physical resources to achieve something. Um... It might be that your heart and your head are out of balance, let's say. Because I'm being asked to pay attention to the elementals. And so I see here the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Your mind is not working um, at its best. Emotionally, you, you might be working towards towards an emotional center and maybe you understand how you feel about a situation but there's a lot of confusion around it or um, maybe fear because and I, what I see happening is this trajectory of like knight of cups queen of cups king of cups your emotional center is getting stronger the 
chariot shows up, which means movement is going to happen eventually, but it's not without this emotional center, this vulnerability. And so, if anything, interesting. And here, so in the present moment, we have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. There, again, we have the, the emotional center and the logical center at ends again. Where else did I see that? All right, down here. So, wow. I feel like this is one we need to clarify. Uh, please show me the elements. What element should we be focused on to get back into our manifesting power? What element should we be focused on? Wands, so fire. Uh, that's creativity, inspiration. It is the six of wands, so that is public reward, recognition. Maybe it's about getting yourself out there. Put yourself out there more. Hmm. Or maybe you're trying to put yourself out there but you're not really seeing yourself the way other people see you. And that causes a lack mentality that, that can, um, you know, when we don't see ourselves clearly as to what, who we are to this situation. Um, the two of wands has shown up in the, it, it does look like there's going to be a, a decision in the future, right? Like the, the two of wands in the future position, um, cause I have king of cups, the chariot and the two of wands. To me, that feels like, Approaching a decision based understanding how you feel about it. You're sort of gonna go out on a whim and express yourself um, And that's gonna lead to some sort of decision and I think that's why the fire is here to put yourself out there You need that fire that willpower to get yourself to that point your emotional center is, has been very nurtured I think because the Queen of Cups is the energy in the middle It's very positive very nurturing and in the past, maybe there's been more fear. And maybe that fear is getting transmuted by way of understanding how the mind is, is working. The mind is at odds with our, how we feel right now. That's where that self-deception is coming. That's where that stuckness is coming in. Um, or it's possible that these things are not connected at all. And just that our different, <clears throat> maybe our different energy centers of the body are just simply not in sync. They don't have to be at ends, but maybe they're just not in sync. And so that loss could be perceived as, I can't move forward because this part of me needs my attention. I need to, I need to, you know, focus on my mental health. I need to do this, this or that. Um, the desire is definitely to get out there. It's just not happening right now. I see the moon and chariot. Um, so that, you know, this makes me think of cancer. Uh, there's also a lot of water here. So I might be talking to a cancer. Um, fire is opposite water. So it makes sense that those things could be, um, wait, is fire opposite water? Yeah. That's steam. Um, and there's a little bit of earth here too. And air. Yeah, we got all the elements here. The strongest is definitely water. And the magician, of course, shows us all four. So, let's get some advice. Ten of Pentacles, Hierophant, Seven of Cups, oh no, Justice. Uh, what's interesting to me is that I see the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant come out, which is about building legacy. 
and it's about legacy and tradition. And then there's confusion. So the decision might have to do, and maybe this is again where this like self-deception energy, this deceptive energy comes in. Whenever this card comes out, I'm always it always confuses me because I, it, it you can look at deception in like many different ways. Like self-deception is sort of how I, it's like when our mind plays tricks on us. And so the decision may have to be, or the work that needs to be done is around confusion, around some sort of tradition val or value, maybe a familial value, um, or something that's been passed down to you that has caused you some confusion, because it's almost like the heart wants what it wants, and your and everything else like in the three D and in like you have a lot of I think hopes, um, but the, the world the way that you see it is not. Is a little bit disappointing. You're not you're like you're not seeing the thing in front of you that you see. How do I want to say this? Your inner world is not reflected in the outer world, and that is a cause of disappointment. That feels deceptive to you. Why can't the world look more like the way that I feel inside? For example. And so then we have justice, Libra energy, so that's going to come into balance. Whatever this decision is, we'll have to deal with that. Um, you know, how am I going to manifest a world that matches more of my inner world? Or um, how, how will I take action um, to create that, the, the kind of world that I want to see? We've all been, <laughs> I'll just say this, we've all been disillusioned by tradition and legacy. Just the history of this place doesn't even... It's unfathomable. So, without getting on a rant or into details, you understand what I'm saying, I hope. And so... There's a very clear, like I said, it, it, um, emotional center trajectory, as in getting more and more comfortable understanding your own feelings, nurturing your own inner world, um, taking action with truth, leading your heart. That is what is going to allow you to be more discerning when things come up and you're like, this is not what I signed up for move on. I think that it's, this is, the energy of this is more about creating your future rather than looking around for something to do or somewhere to, you know, exist and saying yes or no. It's not that kind of a decision. The decision is whether or not you are ready and willing to get vulnerable enough to create the future you desire. I'll leave it there for now. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll catch you on the next one.